last class we derived the relation of average velocity okay so that equation was v average was 1 by 8 mu minus dp by dx okay into r square this relation we have found out okay now this this average velocity okay now what we have to do we have to find out pressure okay now we are going to find out frictional losses and from there we are going to uh, derive the equation hazen poisley equation okay so that is topic will be our uh, this equation we have already derived in the last class now next topic will be hazen poisley equation hazen poisley equation how to derive okay for this we have to continue from this uh, from this topic only so u average is 1 by 8 mu minus dp by dx into r square now see here if you take this one so minus dp minus dp by dx okay minus dp by dx will be equal to this one will be equal to 8 mu let us call it as v mu v okay and dp is equal to r square so dp dp into r square will be equal to 8 mu v mu 8 mu v okay now minus dp will be equal to 8 mu v into dx delta x divided by r square now what we have to do we have to integrate okay so integrating minus dp that is p2 by p1 will be equal to 8 mu v by r square here it will be delta x 0 to l lengthwise that one okay so this one pipe flow was this one okay so length this one okay so section 1 1 section 1 1 and section 2 2 okay so this length varies from 0 to l and now this one if you integrate this one minus it will be p2 minus p1 higher limit minus lower is equal to 8 mu v and this will be l x limit is 0 to l mu v l by r square and if you put this minus this will have p1 minus p2 p1 minus p2 will be equal to 8 mu v l by r square okay continuing from here that we have got this last class we already derived equation effect of friction hf was to reduce the pressure in the direction of flow this equation we have already proved already proved when we started this chapter okay so effect of pressure is nothing but to decrease the pressure to reduce the pressure in the direction of flow that we have already proved now from here let us call it as equation 1 from equation 1 and 2 let us call it as equation 2 okay so this equation 1 p1 minus p2 by gamma will be equal to 8 mu v l by r square remember here we have divided by gamma so here we also we have to divide by gamma so 
this will be p1 minus p2 by gamma see here so it is nothing but hf and that is friction loss effect of friction loss is nothing but to reduce the pressure so here it will be 8 mu v l by gamma r is equal to d by 2 so r is equal to d by 2 so it is r is equal to d by 2 so d by 2 whole square d square into it is 4 so it is 32 mu v l by gamma d square this is equation this equation is known as Hagen-Poiseuille equation Hagen-Poiseuille equation for laminar flow laminar flow for Reynolds number less than 2000. So, this is very very important relation Hagen-Poiseuille equation or viscous flow frictional losses. So, what is the frictional losses? 32 mu v l by gamma d square. This equation is known as Hagen-Poiseuille equation and this equation will help us to find out the friction loss in the direction of flow when pipe is a small dia, okay, fluid is more viscous, velocity is low, density is less, they are the characteristic of viscous flow that we have already discussed, okay. So, let us sum up what we have studied in this class. In the last class, we already derived the U average. So, U average was nothing but 1 by 8 mu minus dp by dx into R square, capital R square, okay. Now, from here itself, we have to continue because we are going to derive the relation of hagen poiseuille equation. This is this equation I have put over here. So, continuing from the same relation, okay. So, this equation, this equation minus dp by dx will be equal to 8 mu v, v average. Now, let us, all the velocity in the pipe flow is considered to be the average, okay. So, let us call it out uh, now as a velocity, simply velocity. So, 8 mu v, okay, and this dp by dx r square, so divide by r square. So, we will get here term minus dp, okay, will be equal to 8 mu v into dx by r square, integrating between limits for pressure minus dp, that is limit p2, p1, and 8 mu v here, length is 0 to l, okay. So, dx integration will be x and uh, limit is 0 to l, so this will be l. Now, here p2 minus p1, but negative sign is there, so we have to put it p1 minus p2, it will be 8 mu v l by r square. This is the pressure difference if, uh, of the pipe flow, that effect of pressure is in the pipe flow is due to friction. So, pressure decreases in the direction of flow that we have already there. And there also we have proved that HF is equal to P1 minus P2 by gamma that already proved. So, now comparing this equation 1 and 2, if you divide by gamma to the equation 1 that is P1 minus P2 by gamma, then 8 mu V L by gamma R square. Since R is equal to D by 2, so what will be there? See, P1 minus P2 by gamma is nothing but our frictional losses. Okay, so this is head loss due to friction will be equal to 8 mu v l, 8 mu v l into 4, okay, that is gamma r is equal to d by 2, so d square by 2 whole square it is 4, so it is going in numerator, so 32 mu v l by gamma d square, so this equation is known as hagen poiseuille equation and it is equally important to find out the viscous flow frictional losses when the flow is laminar that we have to check it out by the Reynolds number if we are getting Re is equal to that is Re is nothing but rho V D by mu ok. So, we have to substitute the value or suppose uh, rho is not given so we can consider V D by mu that is viscosity ok. So, this is this is absolute viscosity that is kinematic viscosity, uh, sorry, this is dynamic viscosity and this is kinematic viscosity, okay. So, by that equation also we find out Reynolds number, after confirming the Reynolds number, if less than 2000, then flow is laminar and we can 
apply this equation to find out the head loss. Okay. Rest of the thing I will discuss in next class. Thank you.